Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Deep Biology. Today we will discuss linkage, linkage group and gene mapping. First of all we will discuss linkage. What is linkage? Linkage is the tendency of two genes to stay together during the process of meiosis or during gamete formation. The further the gene are present on a chromosomes, the lower the chances of two genes to stay together and there is less linkage. Let there are two genes A and B are found on the chromosome. In this case they are found at very far apart position. Now this is the homologue of this chromosome having small a allele and small b allele. In this case there are found high chances of recombination frequency during meiosis. The recombination can occur here or can occur here. This leads to the chances of separation of A and B genes. In the second situation, this is our first situation. Now in the second situation, the two genes are found closer as compared to first situation A, B. This is the homologue A, B. In this case, the recombination frequency is less and there is found less crossing over because of closure distance between A and B gene on the chromosome. This recombination or this crossing over will not affect A and B gene and they will stay together. Now the third case when they are very closely related to closely associated with each other. This is A, this is B and its homologue have A and B. Now in this case the chances of recombination frequency is very very less and these genes will stay together during gamete formation. So we can say that the distance between two genes in this case the distance between A and B gene is directly proportional to crossing over. and inversely proportional to linkage. That's why the gene A and B are more linked as compared to the second situation. And the second situation in which A and B genes are found to be more linked as compared to our first situation. This is the order of our linkage. Now there are found two types of linkage, complete linkage and incomplete linkage. In complete linkage, the two genes are found closely associated with each other. As they are closely associated with each other, this suggests that there is found no crossing over occur between two genes. The complete linkage is first discovered by Morgan in Drosophila melanogaster which is also known as fruit fly. He found that the black body color encoding gene and vestigial wing encoding gene are found to be linked to each other. Similarly, he also found that the gray body color is linked to the normal wing encoding genes. The second one example is in the rice color where the grain color encoding gene is found to be linked with the productivity gene. This suggests that 
when we found the color of grain in rice we can found that how much productivity is obtained from the rice now in case of complete linkage there is found deviation from the normal gene inheritance let understand this with example parents having capital a capital a capital b capital b genotype is crossed with homozygous recessive a and b genes they will produce gametes having a and b capital and similarly this parent will produce small a small b gene carrying gamete now there is fusion of gamete occur and the heterozygous form of f1 individual are formed when there is found crossing between there is found self crossing as the genes are completely linked to each other that's why there will be found no recombination and produced only ab and ab gamete small a small b gamete similarly this parent produced only capital a capital b gamete and small a small b gamete because there is found no crossing over now when there is fusion occur we found that the homozygous dominant for both gene heterozygous dominant heterozygous dominant and homozygous recessive for both gene individuals are found in f2 generation there is deviation from the normal gene inheritance in dihybrid cross that is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 but in this case this there is found deviation from this dihybrid normal inheritance but in case of incomplete linkage there is found crossing over crossing over that's why this genes are not completely linked not completely linked now what is linkage group linkage group is defined as the genes present on a chromosome will inherited as a single group the two homolog chromosome will constitute a single linkage group in case of case of human there are 23 pair of chromosomes out of which 22 pair are of autosomes and one pair is found of sex chromosomes that's why from 22 pair of autosomes we have 22 linkage group and from one pair of sex chromosome there are found xx in case of female and in case of male there is found x and y sex chromosome there are same type of chromosomes in case of female that's why this comprises one linkage group and in female there are found 23 linkage group but in case of male there are found different sex chromosomes hence two linkage group are found from sex chromosomes in case of male and 22 from autosomes that's why in male there are found 24 linkage group now we will discuss gene mapping gene mapping is defined as to find the location of gene on a chromosome that how much distance is found between two genes 
the gene mapping is done by two way recombination frequency and it is also depicted in form of map units the recombination frequency and map unit tells the distance between two genes for example when there is found 10% recombination frequency this suggests that the a and b gene when have 10% recombination recombination frequency then there is found the distance between a and b of 10 similarly when there is found 10 map unit between a and b gene there is found 10 map unit between a and b gene on a chromosome now let take an example that between gene A and C there is found 20 map unit but the distance between A and B gene is found of 10 map unit now if we locate this gene on the chromosome this is our chromosome the A and C are found at 20 map unit but the distance between A and B is 10 map unit there are two possible ways that either B is placed here 10 and between A and C it is 20 or it is placed here 10 map unit from A and 20 map unit from C now if we have the distance between B and C then we can surely tell that what is the correct order of repre representation in the next lecture we will discuss two point test cross I hope you have find my video useful please like subscribe and don't forget to press the bell button for further updates. Thank you and have a nice day.